This book is called Good Night Little Bear and this story is by Richard Scarry. He's written so many children's books. This book is new but can you see a little golden book with this binding? They've been around for a long time, huh? A little golden book with that binding. Been around for years and years. Good Night Little Bear by Patsy Scary. Pictures by Richard Scary. Oh my goodness, look at that. 1961. This is a very old story too. My mom did the, read this to me and my sister at night time. It's time for Little Bear to go to bed. Mother closes the storybook. She gives Little Bear a kiss. Good night. Then over to his big furry father runs Little Bear. Whee! Father Bear swings his little one high up to his shoulders for a ride to bed. Duck your head, calls Mother Bear just in time. And into the snug little bedroom they go. Squeak! The tiny bed sighs as Father Bear sits down. Now into bed with you, he says. He waits for Little Bear to climb down, but Little Bear doesn't move. He sits up on his father's shoulders and grins. Father Bear waits. He yawns a rumbly yawn. Is Father Bear falling asleep? No. Suddenly, he opens his eyes again. Why, I must have been dreaming, said Father Bear, pretending to wake up. But what's this? There's no furry head on the pillow. Where can Little Bear be? Father Bear looks under the pillow. <clears throat> Nobody there. He doesn't seem to feel something tickling his ear. Aha! There's a lump down under the blanket. Father Bear pats the lump, but it doesn't squeak or, or wiggle. Can it be, Little Bear? Why, it's the toy teddy and the blue bunny waiting for Little Bear to come to bed. Mother, that naughty bear is hiding, says Father Bear to Mother Bear with a wink. Well, maybe he's hiding under the kitchen stove, says Mother Bear, who loves a joke. Bang, bang, Father Bear rattles the pots and pans on top of the stove. Little Bear, I'm coming to get you, he roars. Father Bear reaches under the stove. He feels something soft and furry. Is it Little Bear? No, it's only Father Bear's old winter mitten. Way up high, Little Bear claps his paws to his mouth, but not in time. I heard that Little Bear laugh, says Father. Now where can he be hiding? Is he standing outside the front door? I'll turn the knob softly and fling the door wide. No, there are no bears out there, just a family of fat little rabbits nibbling lettuce in the garden. Shoo, Father Bear snorts. Something is hiding in the wood box, whispers Mother Bear. Creep over there on tiptoe and you may catch a little bear. Eek! There's just a wee little mouse hiding in there. There's nobody up high on the china shelf. Ouch! Little Bear bumps his head. Who said ouch? Asks Father Bear. Mother, did you say ouch? Not I, 
smiles Mother Bear. Oh, she is a tease. Now where is that naughty bear hiding? He wouldn't run away. Not a little bear who's always hungry for chocolate cake. And that big daddy bear cuts himself a huge piece of chocolate cake right under the little bear's nose. Little bear suddenly feels hungry. But just then, Father Bear stops smack in front of the mirror. Why, there he is, roars the big bear. But you couldn't find me, squeaks Little Bear, reaching for the chocolate cake. Whee! Off Daddy's shoulders and down to the sofa. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Wasn't that a good hiding place, Mommy? No one could find me up there. But I found you now, says Father Bear. Little Bear wiggles and giggles under his daddy's strong arm all the way to bed. Did I really fool you, Daddy? asks Little Bear. Father Bear just laughs and winks. Do you think Father Bear knew all the time? Hmm. I wonder if he knew. The 